A year on after the death of Ahmed Swale, prosecution for his assassination has delayed and we're asking will the death of Tiger IPI investigative journalist Ahmed Swale just add on to the number of slain journalists or will justice be served? Portia Gabo has more. The news headlines revealed the shock murder. Ahmed Hussein Swale was shot dead near his family home at Medina in Accra in what is believed to have been an assassination because of his work which exposed widespread corruption. The member of the Tiger IPI team exposed corrupt practices in the judiciary showing judges and court workers accepting bribes to influence cases. Another investigative piece, number 12, an expose on corruption in football, which led to a lifetime ban of the former Ghana Football Association president, Kwesinyan Tichi, shot him to fame. Ghana then was considered a citadel of media freedom and democracy, occupying an enviable first position in Africa on the Press Freedom Index and 23rd globally. At the Ghana International Press Center, a minute silence was observed to mark a year after his demise. Up to now, we haven't come to the end of this issue and haven't brought justice to the people who rightfully deserve it. Our focus now is how the security agencies can secure justice for the family of Ahmed Swali. Journalism is not a crime. We continue to hope that Ahmed's killers will be brought to justice. Speakers from the BBC, Amnesty International, Tiger IPI and the International Federation of Journalists all had one message, demanding justice. There's therefore the need to intensify the search for the arrest of Ahmed Swale's killers and fast track their prosecution. This will send a clear and strident message that Ghana grants no impunity from Immunity. A year on, no one has been prosecuted for his murder. The Ghana Police Service says the docket has not been closed, calling on family members and the public to volunteer information. The Ghana Police Service is not and has never rested on this particular investigation. As I speak to you, investigators are still working on this issue. There are a lot of information that we have gathered, but unfortunately it's not something that we can share at this moment. Apart from that, we have gotten lots of leads which we have paid particular attention to and followed to the latter. The explanation did little to quell his family's disappointment. Uh, I know and I tell you, they also know that they have uh, uh, security appliances where they have synchronized the whole Accra into it. And a click of it will show all the activities in Accra. I, and I believe that with that one, they, could, they can use it within 24 hours to arrest those behind the act. But they are simply not doing it. Why is it that when the incident happened at uh, Kaswa Bujumbura camp, it took them three days to arrest those people? Why, why is this so? And why is this one taking them a longer time? Is it that uh, people or citizens of this country are being treated as first, second and third class citizens? No, it shouldn't be so. We are all citizens. We are all taxpayers. The private newspaper Publishers Association of Ghana, Primpak, has meanwhile issued a two-week ultimatum to the state to bring perpetrators of the heinous crime to book. If we don't hear anything from them, we will have no alternative than to petition the World Association of Newspapers and News Publishers. The Ghana Journalist Association, meanwhile, is calling on all journalists to prioritize their security in the December 7 elections. We wish to use this moment of commemoration to sound a clarion caution to all journalists to sharpen their sense of security, especially in this election year, and avoid areas and practices which can imperil their lives or endanger their safety. The Annette Coalition in a Facebook post has released an artist impression on the two men who allegedly murdered the journalist and request the support of the public in providing any information which could lead to the arrest. The wheels of justice may be grinding slowly, but his family is hopeful those responsible for his murder will be brought to book. Poshigabo, TV3 News, Accra.